in in this video we're going to be looking at the possible arrangement for physics practical electricity for NECO 2023 so I have a setup here based on the materials they asked to provide so I have a setup here so you can see that I have a battery here the battery can be two a combination of two 1.5 Tiger battery or dry cells. Then we have the real start. Then we also have the resistant bus. We have an ammeter and a bulb. So this is the bulb and a key also connected to the negative terminal of the cell. Okay, the simple connection is to connect the positive terminal of the cell to the real start and then the one end of this real start is connected to the resistant bus and then the other end of the resistant bus will now be connected to the positive terminal of the ammeter while the negative terminal of the ammeter is connected to one end of the bulb the other end is connected to one end of the key so the other end of the key is now connected to the negative terminal of the cell now the problem with this one issue that i'm having with this connection is that we only have an just one instrument to take reading which is the ammeter okay that's the only instrument we have to take reading now the suggestion is that you may be giving some current you may be giving some current to measure then when you measure the current okay you how do you measure that current you have to adjust the real start you may be asked to um unplug some the plug some of the plugs in the resistant bus you may also be asked and then you are asked to adjust the real start or another possible com uh, circuit is that either one of these either this or this will be present because basically they do almost the same thing to vary the current that flows through the circuit so either one of these is present or it is also possible that both of them are present or the circuit could be a parallel circuit then another possible thing they can ask you to do is to look at the brightness of the bulb so they may ask you to adjust the real start without the resistant bulb or even with the resistant bulb they may ask you to unplug some of these then adjust the real start to look at how bright or dim to look at the increase in the brightness or dimness of the bulb then you at maybe given intervals you'll be recording the current okay so that's a possible uh, that these are possibilities now like i said earlier it is possible that you may go with only the real start or only the resistant bus then you may be asked to unplug some uh some of the blocks of the resistant bus then note the current flowing through the circuit i think that's a very good possibility if you can go with the resistant bus and the current then you know that you can determine some current then and you can plot the current against the resistance from the resistant bus another possibility is that the bulb may not be present the bulb may not be present it's a possibility the bulb may not be present then you have um, a real start resistant bus and the ammeter okay so these are just possibility but from what we are given you can this is a possible connection that we can get now that depends on what they want us to carry out with the circuit now here i have another possibility so this is another circuit and in this circuit you can see that i included a voltmeter without the resistance but okay what i have done is this you either have a real start here or you have a resistance bus replacing this real start either of them okay then we have the bulb now connected to a voltmeter that is why i said that you should prepare for this prepare for a voltmeter to be uh present it's possible it's possible on that you may they may ask you to provide voltmeter it is expected as uh, for you to have voltmeters in your 
physics labs. Okay, then another possibility is that this resistant bus can also be connected in parallel with the cell here. That is another possibility. So it can also be connected in parallel with this bulb here, with the voltmeter connected. So if by so doing, now they may ask you to adjust the real start to determine the current in the ammeter. Then you can now determine the voltage in the uh, voltmeter, vote, uh, the voltmeter reading. Okay. So by so doing, you have two uh, instruments that you can read from. So you may be asked to plot A against V or V against A, whatever the case may be. But this is also a very highly likely possibility. Using a real start or a resistant bus, I, like I said earlier, they perform as almost exactly the same function. The only difference is that here, in a resistant bus, you already know the resistance that you are using to vary the current. But here, you do not know the resistance because you have to be sliding through to determine the current. So this is a possibility, okay? So we can make do with this. Okay, so let's look at the simple connection that I have done. Okay, so I have a cell. This is my cell or my battery. Then I have my real start. Then I have my resistant bus. I have my ammeter. I have my bulb. Okay, this one is for the first circuit that I just did. You can see the way I'm arranging it. Then I have uh, my switch. Okay, then we can connect the positive terminal to any of this terminal here. So you see, that's my connection. Then this one is now connected to one of these terminal here. Remember that this has no polarity, so you can connect it to any terminal. Okay, so this is connected to this terminal here. Then we connect this to the positive terminal of this, just like this. Then we are going to connect this negative terminal to the bulb. So the negative terminal is connected to the bulb. And from the bulb, we connect this other end to one terminal of the cell, of the key rather. Okay? So connected to the key. And the other terminal now connected to the positive word. They are the negative terminal of the battery. So this is the complete uh, connection of the circuit. In, in, in subsequent videos, I'm going to perform the experiment and possibly show you how we can manipulate these values to get accurate results. Okay?